Today I will show you how to download audiobooks for your iPod or other portable audio device. To begin, you will need to be at a computer with your iPod or portable audio device, the cable to connect that device to the computer, and also have your library card and PIN, the same library card and PIN that you use when requesting books through the Minuteman Library Network catalog. Once you're at your computer, you will open up your web browser and go to the website digital.minlib.net. Once you've arrived at the OverDrive Digital Media Catalog, you will scroll down on the page and in the lower left-hand column, you will see the digital software options here and you will want to click on the OverDrive Media Console. Once that website is loaded, you will want to choose among a Windows or Mac based computer and click on Download Now. Once you've downloaded and installed that program, you will see the OverDrive Media Console linked on your desktop. So after you've installed the OverDrive Media Console, you will go back to your web browser and go back to the website digital.minlib.net. And the first step that you'll want to take before searching books or searching for audiobooks is to sign into your account. And the reason that you sign into your account first is that the Minuteman Network has purchased a core selection of audiobooks and ebooks, and town libraries are able to, through the Overdrive Advantage program, purchase additional copies or titles just for their residents. So, Wellesley residents, if you sign in before searching the catalog, you'll see additional titles available to you than if you hadn't signed in before searching. On the left hand side, if you were to search for a specific title or author, you can do that search in the quick search box. And you will want to choose among formats. There's two formats for audiobooks. There's the MP3 format and the WMA format. The MP3 format is the most versatile and it's a universal format that can be used among Windows or Mac based computers. The WMA format is a Windows proprietary format so that only works on Windows computers as well as Mac, Mac computers that are running uh, Windows software such as Windows 7. So what I would suggest doing is, for the majority of you, would be looking at the MP3 audiobook rather than the WMA audiobook. If we wanted to just browse all of the titles that are available, we can click on Advanced Search, and that will take us to the website where we can choose among formats. So again, we'll choose the MP3 format and we'll click down here to only show titles with copies available and we'll search now we see that out of everything that's available in audiobook format there's 293 titles that are available to download right now and we can scroll down and we'll see for example on this title there's the MP3 audiobook and there's the WMA audiobook. And the major difference is where it says for the MP3 audiobook, you can use it on all these formats or all these devices. The WMA audiobook doesn't have all of those devices highlighted. So, for example, the WMA audiobook we can't use on Mac, nor can we use on MP3 portable audio devices. And one last thing that I'll point out here, this little A 
That means that our library has purchased additional copies of this title through the Advantage program. So because we're signed in, we see this title. If we weren't signed in prior to the search, we would not see this title. So let's just check out one of these first books here. Uh, let's make sure that we choose again the MP3 audiobook. We're going to want to click on Add to Cart next to the MP3 audiobook and not Add to Cart next to the WMA audiobook. And at this point we can continue browsing if we wanted to continue looking for materials. We'd only have about 30 minutes that it'll keep this in queue though. So we want to make sure that we would get all these checked out before that 30 minutes has run out. But I don't want to look for anything else, so I'm just going to proceed to checkout. Here I can change my checkout time. So for audiobooks, you can check it out for a one or two week period. So we'll just choose the least. And I'm going to confirm my checkout. Last thing I'll need to do here in the website is to click on download. Now that I've clicked on download, a pop-up comes up. So here I can just click on OK because it's asking what I want to open this up with. We're opening it up with the Overdrive Media Console. and it opens up the Overdrive Media Console. It asks me where I would like to save this audiobook. I'm just going to say that the default is fine. And now it will start downloading. If there's multiple parts, I can select among these parts what I want to download and what I don't want to download. But since there's only one part to this audiobook, I'm just going to click on OK. And we see down here that it started downloading. If there were multiple parts to this audiobook and I didn't download all of them right now, I could highlight that title, click on download, and it will show me all of the parts of that audiobook that haven't been downloaded yet that I can then choose to download. So let's say that I want to transfer this to my portable audio player. I have an iPod. Uh, that I'm going to transfer this to. So at this point, I would want to take the cable that connects my audio device to the computer, plug that into the computer, and then click Transfer. It's going to pop up with this wizard, this transferred wizard. So I'm just going to click on Next. It's saying that it's going to be transferring it to uh, an iTunes library, which if you have an iPod, you should already be familiar with the iTunes library, but if you don't have iTunes installed on your computer, you have to install iTunes before taking this step. So it says you can press F1 for more information. But I already have iTunes installed, so I'm just going to click on Next. It's asking me which items I want to transfer over. Since there's only this first part, that's fine. And up here it asks where I'm going to transfer it to, so the iTunes library is selected. And I'll click on Next. It's now starting to transfer this, and it's finished. So I can click on Finish, and I can minimize all of this. And let's open up iTunes. So now we see that my audiobook has transferred over to my iTunes library, and just like we're familiar with using uh, all the other music, transferring it to our iPod, we would drag it down to our device and drop and it would transfer to our iPod. And that is downloading an audiobook for your iPod or portable audio player. If you have any questions, you can contact your local library or if you're a Wellesley resident, you can give us a call at 781 two three five one six one zero extension one 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 seven